Hello, my beautiful ladies. How are you? Thank you for joining me. So I want to talk about my healing journey a little bit in today's video because I want to see who else is going through their healing journey, what you're experiencing. I want to share my experience and what I'm going through. So first things first, I think when you begin a healing journey, you got to start with having awareness that something is off, is out of alignment with your life. Something is just, things are just not working out for you anymore. When you are in alignment, even when you are experiencing challenges, I feel like you're able to just flow with them, you know, instead of feeling so much resistance towards something, you're able to just kind of flow into it. It feels good. It actually feels good. The challenges feel good. The next one is about self-responsibility. Um, this is a really big one because I think I used to point fingers a lot to people who were in my circle and I expected certain outcomes from these type of relationships. And because I wanted, I wasn't getting these outcomes, I was disappointed. And then I also left a lot of my life in other people's hands because I expected them to do certain things. Um, but what I realized is that, and this is so powerful, ownership, accountability, and self-responsibility are the mo some of the most important lessons and skills that you need to learn in this healing journey and in life, period. Because when you stop blaming people, now you get your power back. And now you have the power of choice. And now you have the power to really dictate what you want happening in your life. If something's not working out for you, you have the power to choose something different. And when I did that, everything in my life changed because now whatever I wanted to create, I didn't expect anyone else, not even my husband, no one else outside of me to create that aside from me because everybody is living in their own world. Everybody has their own point of reference in, in regards to time. They're living in their own time, right? Everybody. And no one wants the life that you want more than you do. After that comes self-forgiveness. It's important to look in the mirror and ask yourself for forgiveness, you know? And just say, Dulce, I forgive you for. All these little things that we do, all of the negative self-talk that we have or the way that we treat ourselves or the way that we treat other people or the planet, sometimes you think that it's just something little, but it's with you. It becomes a part of you. So having this daily practice of letting go of that is so important. Next up, we're going to ground ourselves because when you are doing inner work, inner healing, really crazy emotions can start to come up. So something that helped me a lot was finding grounding practices that I can consistently practice every single day. Uh, for me, it's meditation. That's a really important one, if not the most important grounding practice that I have found in my life because in that place, I have been able to find so much inner peace. Like I feel peace within me and I've talked about this so much, but my life is the same. It has nothing really has changed aside from my mindset, the way that I see the world and the way that I process what is happening. But all of that has been conscious choices that I've been making and practicing on a daily basis. Meditation allows me to still my mind and to consistently detox my brain and my body, my physiology and my, my mind. Constantly, twice a day, detox. Whenever you're having thoughts during meditation, that's a positive thing. So as you're detoxing yourself from any habitual thought patterns, any bad thoughts that you might be having, anything, any kind of thought that comes up, that's your body's way of detoxing and releasing stress. So the more that you do that, the more that you're just letting go of all of that stress and you're not allowing it to build up. And I think also something so beautiful that has happened with meditation is that you find the answers within yourself. Whatever you are searching for, you already know the answer, but you can't really tap into that answer until you give yourself the time and the space to quiet your mind during meditation so you can bump into your true self. Your true self knows all the answers and you can bump into that true self the more that you practice, right? That's why it's a practice. You got to practice it often. 
all the answers that you've been searching for, all of the solutions, all of the next steps that you need to actually take without looking at the outside world, they're gonna come from within you. The healing comes from within you. I also wanted to just mention really quickly the importance of taking a break when you are on a healing journey, on a spiritual evolution and journey and awakening because the work can feel very intense at some point, so much so that it can be very overwhelming. And when you begin your journey, um, you might experience what I experienced, which was a lot of darkness. And this is why I think that's it's called in the spiritual community, the dark night of the soul, because you, you do start to experience, not you, maybe me, let me speak from my own point of view. I started to experience a lot of darkness around me. Um, I was crying every single day. I was sad every single day. I was depressed and I had um, ideas of not existing anymore for a few times. Um, and that's when it got to the point where I seeked out a therapist because I was in desperate need of help. I needed help. and. I was desperate like I literally came to a rock bottom in October November of last year is when it all happened and you guys would not even know that that was happening and then I made a decision to get some professional help and um, actually start working through the things that are causing me a lot of internal turmoil and all the traumas that I experienced or that I buried deep within me I did a lot of work on self-worth that was a big thing for me um, I think that was actually the the theme of all of my healing that i did was self-worth because it all came back to feeling like i was just never good enough in so many senses and it feels liberating it feels like a part of me really died like that part of me that was never my true me because my true me has always been whole and complete and perfect perfectly imperfect but even when um, and this is something so important that i learned even when you are going through the darkest nights or you are experiencing emotions that are out of anger frustration or you don't love yourself you don't see yourself as good enough even then you are whole you are more than good enough. You are complete, even then. Even then, you don't need to change anything. But it's more about shedding. Shedding the darkness or accepting the darkness as part of who you are and maybe your karma, if you believe in karma. And saying, you know what? You are a part of me, but I'm actually gonna use you towards my advantage. That's what I did. I came to realize that this darkness has been around me since I was a little girl for whatever reason. And I do believe that it's my karma from maybe another lifetime. Other, I feel like it's from other lifetimes because it came to me when I was a little girl. And when you're little, you're, you are innocent. So it's like, well, I'm innocent. What did I do to deserve this, you know? But I believe in karma and reincarnation and all those things. So um, I believe that that was the darkness has just been something that I have to learn to overcome in this lifetime and work through so I can have a more elevated consciousness lifetime in my next lifetime. And again, this is just my own personal belief. I don't expect anyone to believe it at all, at all. You can think I'm lunatic. It's cool. I don't expect anyone to agree or believe or anything like that. Um, but I'm also not ashamed to share what I believe and how I see the world from my point of view. And if people got a problem with that, then it's literally people's problem, not mine. Something else that I also wanted to say is that that really helped me was focusing on my passion. That has helped me so much because it has given me purpose and it has given me so much more meaning outside of being a mother and a wife. Like I said, I'm here for self-expression. I'm here to express myself. I need to express myself in a creative way. And the best way that I can do that right now is through being creative with the journals and Sweet Soul and YouTube and showing up here and creating content and refining my vision 
and showing up for the world and all of these ideas that I have, like that is my way of self-expression because sweet soul is literally my self-expression. You know, you guys know the story, God planted, God literally dropped sweet soul into my mind and my heart and it's so unique to I, I had I would never have even dreamed if I would have sat down right now to be like okay let me come up with a business or something spiritual like I would not be able to come up with sweet soul because it did not happen like that you know like choosing a mermaid because it represents diving deep into the darkness into the depths of our soul like all of those things just started to come together and the more that I pour myself into this this is my life's work in some way somehow I don't know what kind of impact it's creating. I don't know, but I'm just gonna show up. And every time I show up, I'm always asking God to just channel through me and let me be a vessel every single time. And I already know that's how it's gonna be when we actually start meeting up in person, having our own retreats. We're gonna travel the world. We're gonna do amazing things. But again, less talk, more action. So we're not gonna talk too much about that. Um, but yeah. Finding something that you are passionate about and focus your energy there. And the last few things that just really helped me was working out every single day, you know, releasing endorphins, working on my body, getting stronger, building muscle, burning fat. But that's just me. I'm not saying everybody needs to go out there and go do that. You know, my body, my goals, this is what I want to do with my body and my mental health. Um, getting physically stronger, working on my mind, reprogramming my mind to a mentality that is so much supportive of who I am. And now the way that I show up in the world is literally what I've been listening to for the past two years when I work out is literally how I feel. Like everything is possible. Discipline equals freedom. And I can go on and on. <laughs> Those things are, it's literally my existence. Those are the things that I believe. I don't see myself as a victim. I don't see myself as incapable of achieving anything. I don't compare myself to people. Even trying out the raw vegan diet um, because I just feel really called to detoxify and just feed myself with nourishing, vibrant foods that are gonna sustain my body, my mental health. Like I am very like, the way that I see myself is like, I, I look at every little aspect of my life and I'm looking, where can I improve? There's always room for improvement. So where can I improve? And do not mistake that as coming from a place that I am not good enough as I am. But it's about setting high expectations for yourself, higher than what anyone else can set for you, you holding a, a standard and a bar right here as to how you deserve to get treated, how you deserve to get spoken to and acknowledged, how you deserve to exist in this world, right? And then I envision myself having the most healthy hair, the most healthy skin and vibrant white eyes, smooth skin, healthy digestive system, all my organs are happy and functioning because I appreciate my body and what it's doing and the gift that it's given me to be able to sit here and love on my body and love on my friends and my family and experience planet earth in this way. Anyways, ladies, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to subscribe and follow me on social media if you guys wanna just catch up with your girl, but I am definitely here on YouTube. So subscribe for new videos and also leave a comment down below because you already know my favorite part is connecting with you guys. So until then, have a blessed and beautiful day and I can't wait to see you guys on our next video.